Oh, that's that's the good stuff. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Metroid Dread. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and today we have so much to explore. We're in Artaria. We've got six percent of items. We've killed an enemy, escaped from another. We have no idea what that door is. Well, let's just continue, shall we? Still can't get in here. Hmm. Ooh. Hello there, hidden missile. Oh, but I can't get it. I don't have... I don't have the morph ball. Oh, that's so rude. All right, well, we can go down here, I guess. Oh, man. That, mm, that's so... Uh, that's such a tease. All right. So this is an Emmy zone, then. We're going to slide down that. Will the Emmy wind up chasing us down? Ooh, only one way to find out, baby. Oh, boy. Oh. I guess we could just leave the Emmy zone that way. Okay. So is this like some sort of Chozo locked door? I guess it is, huh? All right. Well, back into the Emmy zone. I'm trying to listen for it. Okay, so maybe just because we're in an enemy zone doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be chased by an enemy. Certainly seems like that's possible. All right, let's go back this way first. Still in the enemy zone, notably. Oh, I'm guessing I can't. Doesn't look like I can wall jump off of a flat surface. Hmm. Yeah, or not a flat surface, a slanted surface. Okay, so can't go that way. Also, it looks like this is cold, but I guess not cold enough to hurt us, so that's something. Yeah, this whole thing is an Emmy zone. Jeez. Oh! Oh! Wow, okay, it's fast. It is very fast and very smart. Oh, crap! Okay. Nope, we're out. Okay, so I see it detected me. <laughs> oh, that is, that is tense. I love that. That's sick. Okay, so it can follow me over here. Did it reset? I'm guessing it reset. Whoop. Really? Really? That's... Ooh, boy. They are scuttly little bugs. So it showed up... Oh, it's behind me now. Okay, go, go, go. It showed up on my radar before, but now that it's back there, we kind of have an idea. Uh... Oh, wait. Hold up. No? Alright, not enough. Alright, go, go, go. Uh... God, I, the ticking, the beeping, I think, is the Emmy. I hate that. God, I hate that. That is... That is distressing. Oh, that's the end of the Emmy zone. Okay. Whoo okay. Oh, but there is a secret to find out there. Oh, I missed that there was a secret there. Okay, all right. What the hell? 
No, get away from me. Be gone, little bugs. Little, like, waterborne parasites. Look at all this stuff we need the morph ball for, man. Okay. There is... There's a lot going on. I will save my progress, though. Whew. So we can bait them back through an area, and then once they're distracted or they've lost sight of us, then sneak past them. That's good to know. There's an E-tank there, man. Oh, wow. All right. I'm guessing it's really not even that worth us, like, worrying about exploring. Oh, I did not. Okay. You know, really didn't mean to slide down there. Yeah, I guess we don't need to worry too much about exploring when we don't have the morph ball and thus can't ugh, do certain things. These like weird, like Galaga monster looking things. They're very strange. Also, damn, those pickups get brought to us from far away. That's that's really appreciated actually. Aha! Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, that certainly doesn't help us. Or at least not yet. Oh, it, okay. It brought the water level down there. Clever. Okay. Morph ball time? I'm gonna say morph ball time. Or map room time? Map room. Whoa. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... First of all, the fact that we get a save whenever we go to any room like this, that's sick. On the map, the yellow rooms are saving facilities. The purple rooms contain transportation devices. Okay. So that's really cool. It doesn't, like... In other games, in other Metroid games, it would show us the actual corridors. But here, it's actually just showing us the general layout, which is very, very interesting. Huh. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's certainly less handholdy. Oh, I didn't think I'd actually be able to grab onto that. Fair enough. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so we can see that there is actually a path that connects here. That goes back to where the missile is. But, like... Whoa. Oh, I see. Okay. So, what I messed up there was I thought I just had to hit it, but there's actually a, a moment. Oh. Oh, okay. That's a different missile tank than the one I was thinking of. Fair enough. No, I don't want to go back down here. Uh... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I was, I was under the impression there that I needed to just slap him. That was not correct. There is actually a proper moment. Oh. There's a proper moment to counter. Which, again, that's not something I've ever been considering in a Metroid game. So that's going to take a little bit of rewiring of the old brain circuits to get the hang of. So I went up before. Uh... Oh, this is another Emmy room. Okay. Do I want to go here? Oh, this whole zo this whole thing is an Emmy zone. Oh man, that's okay. 
Yeah, maybe we don't want to go there just yet. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. You gotta be really particular about the timing on that. And it's a slow wind-up that he has, too, so... Okay, so can we not... There we go. Okay, so we can go back up that way, but we still can't get to the E-Tank. Assuming that there's not something I'm missing, so... Okay, fair enough. Now, any of these rooms down here that I can get to? Ugh! Damn it. We could totally get over there, though. I just need to stop screwing it up, so... Alright, let's give it one more shot. I'm not worried about trying to get a good time on this. This is all just about exploring and it's experiencing. Oh, you little... There we go. Okay. There it is. Got it. Figured it out. Alright, so we go down here. Hmm, okay. That's... If we can do that, that's rough timing. I'll, I'll come back to that, I think. Because, like... I don't even know if I'd be able to do anything over there anyway. We'll, we'll come back, we'll come back. Okay, these guys do hurt. And they hurt pretty bad, actually. Fair enough. Right, okay, I need to drop down from here, okay. Relearning the map. And by relearning, I mean learning for the first time. Okay, so if you go one room away, it seems like the enemies don't respond. If you go two rooms away, it seems like they do, so that's good to know. All right, Emmy. I'm back. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, crap. Uh... Shit! Nope, no time. Good lord, man. Oh my god, wall jump, please. God, the field they can hear you in is insane. Nope, 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 that just does not work. Understood. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, I see. Oh, goddammit. They are really ornery bastards. What the? Ow, 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 ow. Huh. It's like a weird little Chozo drone. Okay. Uh. <sighs> oh, you. I didn't think he'd be back that fast. Alright, go, go, go. 
and pray it doesn't come from this side. Uh... Weird. Why can't I activate that? Well, well, you know what? That's because I got it to work. Okay. Okay. Whew. There is some stuff to get used to in this, but I feel like I'm figuring it out at a pretty decent clip. Energy recharge. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Another missile upgrade up there. Man, they are just taunting me. Whoa! Oh, okay. And still can't get in there. The world is going to open up once we finally have the morph ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of that. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. First instance of a red door. Okay, so what if I don't want to go this way, though? Oh, because that's cold. That's why. That's why we don't want to go that way. Fair enough. It's also saying there's a secret in here somewhere. Probably in the cold area, if I had to guess, or underneath there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you... Give me my health back. Oh! Hey, what's up? Ah! You know, I should have expected the first upgrade to be the charge beam. Nice. Focuses beam energy to unleash a powerful shot. Press and hold Y to charge, then release to fire. Charged shots damage enemies immune to normal beam shots, such as robots and bosses. They can also open charge beam doors. In addition, Samus can perform a charge attack by spin jumping when the beam is fully charged. Okay, I think that's always been a thing. Yeah, cool. And that's a charge beam door. Very cool. That charges very quickly, too. Come on, little guy. Ah. Aggro. No, alright, he doesn't feel like it. Fair enough. Oh. We're back. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh! Hello. Gotcha. Don't even need to worry about countering those guys anymore. Oh, wow. Okay, they take more than one charge shot. Fair enough. Better to just blast them, it seems. Alright, so that'll bring us through there. I mean, we can certainly do that. God, look at everything we've already been through. Holy. And there's only 10% of items in this area. Hello, E-Tank. Beautiful. Beautiful. First E-Tank. That's what we like to see. This is a good game, guys. Like, this, this is a good game. Seems like... At the very least, one normal shot and then two charged shots does it. I want to try to get just two fully charged shots on it without any prior damage and see if that kills it. Ah, damn it. I hit the wrong button. So, yeah, we've actually been in here before. Yeah, we wound up here after that first Emmy encounter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. I'm getting the sequencing right. This 
This is so smooth. Like, dude, this game is so awesome. What the? Alright, I'm not seeing anything that indicates that we are missing any secrets in here, so that's good. So it looks like... Rather than turning away and jumping now, we push into the wall and jump, which is far more intuitive. I like that way better. So I'm more than okay with that. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no reason to go back to that other Emmy area. Does it show on the map? It does show on the map if there's, like, a secret to find. Cool. So yeah, no reason to go back there right now. Definitely a lot of looping back in on itself, which is so, 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 so nice. Very Metroidvania, very Dark Souls. Something that I had heard prior to release that, like, reviewers were saying that there was a lot of really good level design. Which, I mean, how could you not have good level design in a Metroid game? Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. Oh? Uh... Hi? Can't lie. Don't like anything about that. Oh god, we're back here. I don't want to be back here. Yeah, go back up, buddy. You're gonna make me follow it. Oh, that's... Just the worst! Nope, time to leave. Oh, crap, I can't. Okay, come to this side. Yep. Oh, it got way faster. Oh, it got way faster. Oh, we're back in this area again. Fair enough. I don't know. Mm, can't do that. See ya, bud. Okay. Are we able to... What is with the... Whoa! Oh, I saw that. And I can't say I liked it. What the hell? What is in this area? What is that thing? And again with those locks. Weird. It's like we need some sort of Chozo authorization. Okay... Well, we're back here. Oh, but there's a charge beam door up there. Alright. Let's check in with Adam. Alright, no checking in with Adam to be had today. We are just continuing forward. Oh, that door didn't want to open. Ah, we can shoot that out of the air. Nice. Oh. Okay. Can you... Mm, Give me my health back. Ah, hello. Nice. Notable that we're only getting two missiles per upgrade pack. That's... That's pretty brutal. Like, we'd get five in other games. That's... That's considerable. Oh, boy. Okay. A lot of damage in this area. Yo! Dude! 
How sick is that? What? Screwed it up. Gotta have more patience. Gotta have more patience. Oh, that's getting toasty in here. Yep, had a feeling. Guessing it's the same thing on this side. Yep, okay, don't want to be in there. Nope, no siri Bob. Okay. It's going to be a while before we can interact with any of this. Hey. God, I'm so excited. Oh, to just keep finding stuff and getting new upgrades and finding new suits and just, oh, oh. This might be the Switch release of the year, man. And I say that with a lot of stuff I like coming out for the Switch. Okay, so we've got two directions we can go. Um, I'm okay with going this way. I'm very okay with going this way. Hello. What do we have here? Thermal fuel's flow has been redirected. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Okay, we're going back. How? Uh-huh. Maybe the whole idea with that is that it can only be open from one side. Yeah, it's locked on this side, open ball on the other side, so we need, once again, the morph ball. Okay, uh, before we continue over that way, since that seems to be the way it wants us to go, let's we'll just go back where we came from. Understood. Thank you, game. Got it. Okay, that worked out all right. Oh yeah, we're back where we, okay. Yeah, we're back where we just came from, cool. How many other things did that, oh, well, apparently a lot. It looks like it opened a lot of stuff for us, sick. But not that. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? I guess we need to check in with Adam? Yeah, okay. Uploading like, why can't we leave? There is no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of a chosen warrior trial. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. Huh. I mean, yeah, it's no surprise. I... The Federation ain't got shit on the Chozo, so I'm not surprised that they don't know who this one individual Chozo is. Also, my knowledge of Metroid lore is not the best, obviously. I only know what's in the three games that I've played, basically. Um, so, has the implication up to this point been that the Chozo were extinct? Were they just missing? Do we know? Because if Zebus is where Samus grew up, the two times we've been there, there haven't been any Chozo there. It obviously once was a Chozo planet. We found ruins and everything there. And then now we blew it up. Uh, SR-388, presumably also the Chozo we're at. That got blown up. So, is it just that we didn't know where there might be other Chozo? Maybe. And then obviously, if they're differentiating a Chozo warrior tribe from regular Chozo, then this must be some sort of, like offshoot splinter group. 
Kind of like how there's different factions of Protoss in uh, StarCraft, now that I think about it. You have seen the warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the enemy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. Interesting. Do they know how to control the X here? The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. Okay, thermal doors. Understood. Continue Makes sense. To search for the unique energy you employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. Yeah, I... Oh, excuse me. That's a good point. We found that destroyed, like, what was it? A data core or something? It called, the game called it something specific. We found one. We were able to use it to destroy the damaged Emmy. Okay, cool. When we walked into that other Emmy zone, we got a couple cutscenes of what looked like a similar thing activating, but clearly not damaged, not dead, very much alive. Why? And, like, if we saw it activate, why did we not deal with it yet? I'm guessing we'll come back there, but... Notable that it is now conscious. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. There are six remaining enemy hunting units. Yep, okay. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Oh, I'll remember. God, she looks so good, man. She looks so good. Okay, and the door is open. Uh, but yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call this one. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. If you know someone that you think would enjoy this series, or any of my other series, if you could shoot them a link, that'd just be swell. Until the next time, though, I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.